Hey YouTube, Steven Asalanga here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys a great new summer haircut, which is going to be a textured bob with a fringe. It's gonna be great, very wearable, very user-friendly, so I'm ready to go, let's get started. All right, so let's take a look at what we have currently before we cut it. This is Emily from HairArtProducts.com. This is one of their highest end mannequins. This is pretty much as close to a human as you can get. This is 100% uh, European virgin hair. Literally, it's like cutting someone's hair that's real. So really, really incredible products. The link to where you can find out about their mannequins is in the description below. So as you can see, here's the length right into here. What we wanna do is bring it up to probably about the neck area right into here and create a kind of a fringe that can be side swept or if she wants to wear it forward, she can. Um, but we're gonna add some texture, some nice layers, but this is what it looks like before. So we're gonna wash the hair and then we'll be right back. So I'm gonna start off with using 25 spray, which is my leave-in treatment spray, and it also acts as a cutting lotion. And this literally transforms your hair. So if you have a client or if you yourself have very dry hair, if it needs some moisturizing, some love, some conditioning, also if your hair is very tangled, gets tangled very easily, you spray 25 in, and as you can see, it combs right through. It's like literally spraying on the best hand lotion ever on your hair. It just makes your hair feel amazingly smooth and healthy, but also gets the knots out. So I like using this as a cutting lotion just to kind of get the ball rolling here and to uh, make sure I can comb through this while I'm cutting it. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm going to part the hair pretty much right down the middle and also into uh, four different quadrants, which I usually do for my haircut. So let's get her straight there. We go. And here we go, right there. So I'm gonna part this right down the middle and does this matter as far as like where you part it? I mean, it does, but it also really doesn't because the way we're gonna cut this and how I like to cut a lot of my haircuts is I basically work everything right down a center panel, almost like if you're doing foils. So you're gonna be pretty balanced all throughout this area. So even though it's you know nice to see a center parting and make sure everything is all even it also, you know, if it's a little off, it doesn't really matter a whole lot. You know, if you're doing a side parting, that's when it does matter because you want to kind of cut it based off of where the part is. So let's turn the head around. And what we're going to do is we're going to start into the back area. And you want to tilt the head down a little bit forward uh, when working on your client. And what we're looking to do, the goal here as far as the length of the haircut is probably to cut it, I'd say, like I mentioned, right around the neck area. You know, you don't wanna go super, super short, like right to the hairline, but you wanna go, you know, short enough, we're gonna make a difference. It's gonna have a little bit of volume and texture, but uh, at the same time, you know, you wanna have some length because it does, having some length does help. You know, it really does help the whole uh, procedure. So normally I don't, you know, really use clips when I'm cutting. But in this situation, because the hair is kind of at that medium length already, I'm just going to clip this out of the way uh, to make it a little bit easier for me while I'm cutting. So we're just gonna take this and we're gonna clip it right out of the way. And the first section we're gonna cut is going to be right here at the base area, okay? And I, there's a few ways we can cut this. You know, if you want it to be a pretty straight, even line with no tension, I would say cut it just like how we're cutting it right now, how you're seeing. Uh, you can also cut it with your hands, but sometimes I'm, I've noticed that the straightest line comes with really no tension. So we're gonna use the fine teeth of the comb, we're gonna lock it down like this, and we're gonna cut straight across. And I'm, again, I'm using no tension whatsoever, and I'm literally using my comb like a razor, or like a ruler, I'm sorry. When we get to the corner, what we wanna do, right in through here, is you wanna kind of comb inwards this way. So we're maintaining and keeping that length in through the corner. This way we, we don't lose the weight in through the sides here. Then what I like to do is I like to go in and just check by hand this way to make sure it's all pretty even and balanced, right? Most of the times, a lot of times when you cut hair this way, sometimes you'll see pieces that are like, wow, it looks kind of weird, but actually it's 
supposed to be that way because of the way you cut it. So you just want to be careful that you don't end up cutting too much off, but it's okay to go back and just clean up any little edges right there. So now let's break down another section, and we can probably do this all in one section, depending on the thickness of the hair. If the client has a relatively thick head of hair, then you have to take more sections. But if it's on a more of a finer side or medium density, then you can do this all in one section, in you know, maybe two sections at most, three sections. So as you can see, we're just gonna clean up the ends, combing it straight down and straight across. Having a good, I learned this a long time ago, having a good solid foundation or a base for the haircut is really a lifesaver. I mean, you wanna make sure you can cut someone's hair that if you did nothing else to their hair, like no layering whatsoever, you just literally cut a straight line that their hair is gonna look good. And I, and I learned that a long time ago and it's stuck with me ever since. Having a solid base, a strong line, a strong foundation, really is what's key. Now, we're gonna come back to this, because remember I mentioned we're gonna do a texturized, you know, a texturized look, and now we're going to turn this way, so you can see, and we're going to continue this in through the front. Now I, because it is one section, I like to just take my hand and cut straight across. I would suggest that we cut this on a slight angle, going a little bit longer in the front. I wanna keep these pieces longer in the front because we are gonna add some texture to it. And I just wanna, I don't wanna really create too much of an angle. I wanna keep that, um, that length right into the front. Let's turn the head here. Again, obviously I'm positioning this so you guys can see better. I'm, I'm literally combing straight down where the hair lives. You wanna comb the hair and cut it where it naturally falls. I mean, that's very, very simple and basic, but it's really essential, is cutting the hair where it naturally falls and combing it where it naturally falls. And your fingers here will can control basically where the angle is gonna be. If I angle my fingers towards the ground, we're gonna cut upwards. If I have it pointed this way, obviously we're going this way. So you can really see visually uh, how things are gonna end up. All right, so let's just cr double check here. We're gonna stand right in front and we're gonna pull a section down. Finally, folks, I have an even haircut. <laughs> After 20 years, I finally have an even, even haircut. Today, I'm even Steven. All right, so now here's where it's gonna get a little bit fun. And this is where the textured part comes into this whole thing. So we're gonna take this all in one section. We're gonna comb it straight down like that. And what we're gonna do is we're just going to cut, point cut into that base right there to break up the base and to give it a little bit of texture. So we're gonna close our shears as we're coming out and we're going to point cut into little sections and that is what's going to create the texture. And it's also good because it relieves a little bit of the weight as well. You know, if it, we want that solid line, yes, but you can have a solid line with a few, with some diffusion to it, you know, and some added texture. Just be, be careful you're not doing it where you're actually creating holes in the haircut, meaning like you're not gonna disrupt the weight, you're not gonna take a chunk out. What you wanna do is just, you know, cut little point cuts into it. And that is what is going to create that nice, beautiful, soft look on the ends. And I can already see what it's doing. So now that we have the base done, we're going to create the layers on top. All right, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start right through here and I'm gonna comb this all down. Once again, like how I did when I created my division point. And I'm gonna take a nice horizontal section right here in the back of the head the top back of the head. And we wanna cut this that we're creating some layer to it, but we're not like, we're not going to cut it so, so short that it's gonna be like a short shag feathered layer. All right, but we want enough that it's gonna create some shape and some movement throughout the haircut. So the way I do this, I'm pushing this part aside. As you can see right into here, I'm splitting it right down the middle of the back. Now I'm gonna take a section right underneath the one I just cut, and I, I do this literally in all my haircut tutorials where I'm gonna comb it straight up. There's my guide, and we're gonna cut straight across. 
So here's where we're at, right into here, as you can see. I've done two sections so far that are horizontally straight up from the head. All right, now what we're going to do is we're going to connect it on this side. So we're going to comb this down. Now we're going to pull a section, same thing, excuse my back here, from this side. Let's turn the head a little bit this way. We're going to comb straight up. And there's our guide from before. And we're cutting straight across. Let's do one more little section right under here to make sure we're completely balanced here. And then what we can do is we can actually connect the whole back part to make sure. There are not a lot of hairs coming off. So we've got this whole back part right here, all even. This time again, we're even Steven right through here. So we're going to drop that whole thing and we're going to comb it straight down. Now sometimes what you'll see is you might see a little bit of a, a weight line, but a lot of times you won't. So now what we're going to do is connect the rest of the haircut in the back to that section we just did. Once again, coming straight down the middle, and we're going to comb everything straight out. We're going to see the length in through here. What we need to do is we need to cut what's above that because that is just weight that needs to be removed. So now we're going to take a section from our previous, and this is kind of like a traveling guide because we are going from section to section, but we're slightly over directing back to the previous because we want to maintain a balanced shape. That's all that really means is we want to make sure we have an even haircut. <laughs> balanced shape, proportionate, really what it comes down to is it comes down to an even haircut. Now right into this corner here, we're going to follow this right behind the ear, but we're going to comb this all straight back towards us, as you can see right in through here. I'm combing this all straight back because what's going to happen is we're going to maintain that weight in through here. And that's important in the corners. So now I'm going to work into the lower half. And this is where we're probably not going to end up seeing a lot of hair come off. Just ever so slightly. Remember, the base is down there. That's the length. You don't want to disrupt the length. We've already established that. We like what we did. You'll see a little bit of weight right there that needs to come off. You want to make sure you're working this all the way down to the bottom. All hairs matter, <laughs> that's why I always say. Every, every hair, every section does count because if you leave that one little bit right there, it is going to affect the haircut. It's going to affect the way that the hair lays. So we're, we're done with that side now, and now we're going to work on the other side. We just completely did this whole side, and we're good to go. So same thing, we're working right down the middle. I'm going to comb on top of my section, and there is the hair that we need to connect. You want to constantly comb. It's like comb and cut, comb and cut. Combing, there's a section right there. We see the hair we need to cut, and we execute it right there. Very, very simple. Once again, in the corner, on this side, right in through here. Let's turn so you guys can see. I'm going to push this hair away from myself that way. And now we're going to cut. So let's, let's start with the bottom now. We're going to comb this straight out. There's that little bit of hair that we need to cut for the length. And we're going to do the same thing. So now let's bring this out this way. It's easier for me to comb under, under the section and then on top of it just so, just so we have good control and a little bit's going to come off. Right here, push it out that way and cut. Hair, I always say that hair is going to basically jump out at you and if it looks like something is off or it needs to be cut, then just cut it. And there we go. So what I like to do now is I like to just do some cross checking right through here where I'll literally stand over everything and kind of cut in an unconventional way or just, you know, cross checking comes down to cutting it how you just didn't cut it. You know, it, it's, it's combing it in different angles. It's, you know, standing in different ways, different areas. It's really, see, I can see right there is a little bit heavy. So I'm going to, I'm going to emphasize really checking this part of it to make sure. Okay, just a little bit 
of that weight. This is a difference between, you know, an okay haircut that somebody takes 15, that takes about 30 minutes to do, or a really, really, really good balanced haircut that's gonna last long and grow out well that I, you, know, you spend an hour doing. All right, so now that we're done with the back, here's where the textured part comes in. So we're gonna comb this straight out. I have everything from the bottom. And once again, we're gonna point cut into everything. Just a little bit there. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna elevate this because we did the bottom already. Remember, we did the base. And we're now focusing on the layers. And this is also a great tip to make sure that you're, you're you know, you're kind of cross-checking at the same time. So you're, text you're adding texture and you're cross-checking at the same time. And what I'm gonna do is I'm slowly gonna work up the head shape like this, and we're just gonna point cut into each section. So we're slightly elevating up each section that we go. And this is great because, again, it's literally like horizontally cross-checking and adding texture. So if you are combing this and cutting and you're seeing parts that are like way off, way longer, you got to put the tequila down. <laughs> no, you need to really, you know, focus on uh, being more consistent. And now we're going to pick this section up here and we're just going to point cut that way. So literally it's, it's, yes, it's point cutting, but at the same time, it's, you know, kind of going back in after it's a different way. You know, I'm not point cutting the whole thing because I'm not looking to do that and I don't do a lot of that when I do my base cutting. All my cuts are pretty solid and then I go back in and then I break up the texture. So, you know, I suggest that for this type of haircut is you're going back in and you're shattering up the texture. That's where the, the kind of textured uh, bob is going to uh, come together in. So the back is done. Now it's time to connect this into this. So as we see in a lot of my videos, what we're gonna do is we're gonna comb this straight back. We're gonna push that down or we're gonna push this down because guess what? We're working right in through this area, right in through here. So we're gonna comb this straight up and now we're gonna follow the head shape. So as you can see right here, there's some longer hair and guess what? That's what needs to be cut. All right, I didn't take a straight up section this way because that will just create another harsh line right in the back and I don't want that because we just spent all that time cutting the back. You know, once you, know, you cut it, it's time to move on, folks. <laughs> you don't wanna go back in and continuously cut what you just did because that'll really disrupt the shape. So bam, we have this whole section right in through here and now guess what? It's time to turn the client towards the camera or the model, mannequin, whatever and now we're going to cut this way working forward. Now that we're done with the back, we can take the sections right down the middle. So we're gonna take a slice this way and a slice this way, right between the, the eyes, <laughs> right between the eyebrows here. Now we can comb this straight up this way and cut straight across. Now yes, we are going to be cutting a fringe, but I always like to make sure it's still balanced and even as far as a haircut goes. You know why? Because what if all of a sudden the client is like, I don't want a fringe, I don't want bangs. You're kind, of, you're kind of messed up, you know? You're like, oh no, I thought you did want that. So the best thing to do is to cut it, you know, as, as, as you would normally without it and then go back in and cut the fringe just because you just never know and you want everything laying properly anyway. All right, so now it's time for the corners, which is right into here. So all that hair that's dropping out is falling on top of the length and that is what we want to start to think about and keep you know as we work down all that hair that's falling remember that's the protection so if you end up cutting and you get a lot of holes or spaces whatever that's because you're cutting all this you're not letting the hair fall you know where it naturally wants to fall it's gravity saying uh -uh. <laughs> all right so now it's time to work into the very very bottom bottom half right down through here. So we're bringing it straight out. There's the length. You see it falling out. And then look, see? That's key. You wanna maintain and protect that length right through the bottom. So we're gonna comb it straight out. Wait for, see now right now, there's a, there's a hole right here because I have hair over the ear. Well, guess what? We just protected that and it dropped out. And if there's not a lot of hair to cut, that's good. 
So now we have a solid line over the ear, which is cool. If you, when you pick the hair up, you'll notice there's, a, there's no hair over the ear. So that's where you have to be really, really uh, cautious. All right, so I know I'm rambling on a lot, but I know you guys like these step-by-step -step tutorials. So once again, we did our uh, texturizing in the back, but what we're gonna do now is lightly do the same thing in through this area. All right, we're gonna bring this forward this way and we're just going to point cut a little bit. We don't wanna remove a lot of the weight because if we go too crazy on this, it's gonna remove some weight. So what you can do is you can go in here and take little point cuts going vertically because you don't wanna remove too much weight, okay? But you do wanna add some of that texture. Again, this is different than you know, going in and point cutting because this is just random kind of chomps that way. All right, now we're gonna spin the head around and we're gonna do the same thing on this side. So we wanna mirror the haircut where we're cutting the corners and we're really making everything come together. This is pretty basic, you know, or it seems, it seems like it's basic, but you know, it is in theory, but it's not, I don't see a lot of people cutting like this. And I get clients that travel all over the place to come see me. They drive hours and hours, they'll fly in, they'll, whatever the air, sea and land, they come see me. And I sit them down, I'm looking through this, and some of the haircuts that I see that are being done, I'm saying to myself, no wonder these people are traveling this far for a good haircut. It's just a simple, basic, layered, textured, nice haircut. You're following the head shape, you're following you know, all the rules, all the, you know, it's like, how hard can it be? So, I don't know. I, I get disappointed when I see that, but I'm also happy to see new clients. <laughs> So there it is, there's the weight that fell out. And now we're going to cut one more time. And let's see if anything even needs to come out, just a little bit. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back in vertically and we're gonna point cut. And same thing, we're going to comb it straight out. And you could see that we still have like a solid line, which is important. You know, the solid line is still there, but we're just shattering it a little bit. And that is where the textured part comes into this whole thing. So any minute now, we're gonna work into the bang area, the fringe area. But before we do that, this is one little trick that I do that ensures that everything is even. Comb this all straight back, right down the middle. We're literally taking our mohawk section right down the middle, all right? And we're, this is where we check to make sure everything's balanced. And you know what? We're in good shape. We're in really, really good shape because everything is perfectly even. That's the best way to check for balance is comb it straight up down. Now, if you comb this up and you got like, you know, hairs that are up here, something went wrong. You know, if it's really, really, really off, then we got a problem. So because this is the, this is the great part of this whole thing, because we did an even, balanced, beautiful, nice haircut, if the client's like, oh my gosh, you know what? I love the way this looks, I don't want bangs. Then we cut it properly and we layered the whole thing. That's why I like, I like doing this and being very thorough. You know, could, could we leave it like this? Yes, could she flip it over you know, this way? Yes, could she flip it over this way? Yes, so we do have that textured, really, really nice uh, cut, but I think it's time to create a nice fringe for our model Emily here. So what we're gonna do is I like to, you know, for the fringe area, what I like to do is basically comb the hair all back and see where it naturally falls like this. And this really depends on you of how thick of a section you wanna take this. So tr typically when you comb the hair straight down, the hair is gonna wanna split right into the corner, like the corner of the eyebrow. So right here, it just did that. And let's do this on this side here. You comb it straight down and you kind of push up that way and the hair wants to split. All right, the hair just wants to split. So that's where you take your fringe section. That's how you create it, right there. And then you can work off of the shape that way to fine tune it.
So here is a section right into here that we're going to work off of, but keep in mind this might, hair might fall down too, so we might have to go a little bit wider, almost into the hairline, right to the corner. So there we go. Now, now we're good on this side, right here. That's perfect. Let's clip this out of the way. You want to treat the fringe almost as if it was its own kind of haircut, to be honest with you. You want to treat it as if it's its own haircut. The reason is, it's just because clients will appreciate it and it also shows off your talent. You know what I mean? It shows off that, hey, you know what you're doing. You're good at this and you're going to make me look awesome. All right, so let's just refine the sectioning right here. There we go. And clip this out of the way. You want to know that, hey, we are talk we're in business now with this area, with these this fringe area right into here. So you can see, let me just comb this down, get this out of the way, come on. And there we go. So we comb this all straight down. And I just want you to see this is the section that we're dealing with right into here. All right. So then you want to do is you want to take your clippers and shave it right up to here. No, I'm kidding. That's something Frank would do. <laughs> I would never let Frank touch any of my clients' bangs. So we mentioned having either a sweeping fringe or more of a straight down fringe. Here we have the section here and ready to cut. You can take this into two sections. You can split this off right here and cut the base first with one section and then two sections. But if you're fairly experienced and confident and you know kind of what you're doing in this scenario, you can take this all in one section. All right. I just don't suggest it if you don't know what you're doing and if it's too, too thick. So what I like to do is I like to think, well, if I cut this, where's it going to fall? So we're going for, you know, kind of a side swept, but also, you know, something she could wear straight down if she wanted to. So what I like to do is I like to lock in the comb right here and then I'll extend it down just a little bit and we're going to cut straight across. And this is a great way. As you notice, I'm not moving the comb whatsoever. The comb is literally my, my ruler and bam, we have a nice, even, beautiful fringe area right into here. And then you can go in and refine any little longer pieces if there are any. And as you can see here, I try, obviously for this, I try to do this as best I could while trying to show off um, what I'm doing into the camera. So let's take a look at what we got here. And there we go. So we got a nice, nice fringe right into here. But now it's just a straight fringe. We need to, we need to really soften this up. So what I'm going to do, and this is where my uh, magic comes in. I, I, I give the best bangs around. I'm telling you right now, ladies. <laughs> so we're going to comb this straight up and all this hair right into here is going to, we're going to cut that right off. That's weight on top of that section. So we're over directing all of this to one side and then we're going to cut it. We're going to take all this hair all the way over. And I've done this in previous, in a previous video a long time ago, how to cut bangs or had her side swept sweeping fringe, which is a really, really popular video of mine. Now, as you can see, the only reason this is able to move like this is because of the flow we just made. But now we're not done. We're going to reverse this and do the same thing on this side, which is a really interesting catch to this whole, whole story here. We're doing the exact same, but now we're pulling it over on the opposite side. This is the money maker right here, folks. This is the, what I call the money bangs or the money fringe. There we go. There's some weight right there. And then one last section right here, bring this all the way over. And there's a lot of hair right there, a lot of weight. And look, now we can go that way. So what's going to happen now is we're going to take this whole section. This is almost his own video of how to cut bangs right here comb this straight up and we're going to just snip off that piece right in the middle, which is the, which is the length or the weight right in the middle. And we have a nice soft textured fringe area that we can sweep over to the side. 
All right, now, whoops, let's get her straight back there. What we need to do is the last thing is we have to cut this corner. So there's a little corner right there, and bam, we cut that off. Let me go on this side here. There's a little corner right into here. See that longer triangle bit right there? We're actually going to cut that upwards. So it actually reverses it and allows the hair to sweep over like that. If this is too long, what happens is there's no way it can move over. So there, see we have a nice sweeping fringe that way and also combing over this way as well. All right? But then you can also just wear it kind of loose and textured this way too. So now I'm going to do one last thing where I'm going to take my thinning shears and we're just going to lightly loosen up the texture right into the base here of the fringe so it's a little bit softer and uh, it's got a little more movement and texture to it. So this is where you can absolutely go wild on this, just don't remove too much weight. But again, it just softens it up a little bit, and I think it really uh, adds a little bit of more texture and dimension to the whole thing. You can just go in and work right towards the ends to really soften up those ends right there. That's what I love about doing this. Cool. And there we have it. So now what we're going to do is we're going to blow dry the whole thing, and then we'll come back and see how it looks. All right, so now we're going to rake this all back and we're just going to start to kind of work the shape in and we're going to, you know, add a little bit of texture here. And this is where the textured ends comes in, you know, with the flip and stuff in through here. And let's bring this over this way. So you can see we've got this coming down and then we brush these pieces over away from the face. And uh, I think this looks great. So she can wear it straight down that way. We've got the nice fringe. You can then go in and separate this if you want, and create some PC texture to it by adding little points, you know, which I think looks fun. The key to that, this whole thing is making sure that, you know, you can have a nice, you know, sep some, you can create some separation, you know, right into the front here, which I think makes it, you know, fun and, and has a, a nice soft look to it. So here is the shape. As you can see, it's a fun, very, you know, summer, focus type haircut. You know, it's great for a, you know, beach, uh, a beach look. You can create soft beachy waves if you wanted to. You know, the haircut is going to bring all that out and through here, as you can see, it's a seamless flow going in through the back and on the bottom and that texture that we did, all that kind of point cutting and stuff really helps uh, bring out the entire shape and through here. And it really did add some nice softness and peaciness throughout the whole thing. And then, you know, you can tuck it behind the ear if you want. And the good thing about, you know, we have these, the longer pieces in through here. That's why I want to leave the longer pieces so we have that kind of uh, protection in through the corners. So I think this is fun. I think it's, you know, appropriate for any age. It's a great, you know, back to school haircut for girls. It's something that's great for, you know, any age, to be honest with you. If you, if you have the, uh, you know, if you're bold enough to go shorter, you can also wear this straight and smooth too which I think will look fun, but uh, I had a lot of fun doing this. All right, guys, I know this was a longer video, um, but I hope you enjoyed this kind of step-by-step, in-depth tutorial. If you're a hairstylist and you did this haircut or you, you found it helpful, please let me know in the comments below. I'm trying to get to 500,000 subscribers. We're, we're close, we broke 450, but I can't get there without your help. So please subscribe to my channel. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time for more videos five days a week with a salon guy.